I want to make a bruschetta today, replacing the bread with chicken. And I had it before, I made it a couple of times, and it's one of my favorite meals. So that's the recipe I want to share with you guys today. The ingredients we're going to need is two chicken breasts. We're going to use four medium tomatoes, a half of our Spanish onion, fresh basil, plenty of basil. We're gonna use Parmesan cheese, sea salt, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. So the first thing what I like to do with the chicken, I wanna make it thinner, so that way it will cook faster. And um, you know, when the chicken is thinner, it will taste better with our ingredients. I'm gonna put this on the top of the chicken. I'm gonna take the soup pot. I'm gonna brush it with uh, some olive oil. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna put uh, some uh, salt, but it's mixed with uh, onion power. I have salt with garlic, some paprika. What I'm doing with the chicken, I'm gonna put in an air fryer. 400 for uh, 20 minutes. We have one tablespoon with garlic, fresh garlic, I chopped it. The three garlic cloves, and I mixed it with olive oil and I have it on the side. So we're gonna dice the tomatoes. The tomatoes are gonna be nice and small. When you get good tomatoes like this, you know your food is gonna be delicious. So we have four tomatoes. We're gonna dice them. So we got the four tomatoes. All sliced, diced, small pieces. If you use a little bit of onion, it gives you really good flavor. But if you use too much, it takes over the recipe, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna cut it really small. So it's one fourth of a medium onion. So we got the onions, chopped onions. Basil, when I smell the basil, always makes me feel good. Cut it really small pieces. So we use one, two, three tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon of fresh garlic. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I like to use a little bit of red balsamic vinegar. It makes everything uh, sweeter. It just makes, you know, the onions taste better. Okay, and we need a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're gonna give it a nice mix. And we let it sit so the chicken is ready. We're gonna get all these flavors. The basil, the garlic, the olive oil, the balsamic vinegar. Beautiful. You know what is, I'm gonna cover it with a plastic. That way, I want all the flavors to stay inside. So it's been uh, 370, the temperature for 20 minutes in an air fryer. The same time it will take in your regular oven. So we got the chicken, wow, it looks really good. So this is the, the mix with the tomato.
basil, onions, olive oil, garlic, a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar. I mean, the flavor is unbelievable. So fresh. So now what we do, we take the, the Parmesan cheese, just sprinkle it right on the top. I mean, we're gonna put in an air fry for like maybe five minutes, and it's gonna melt the cheese, and everything's gonna to come together. Okay. Hey, Alex. Hey, Steve. We have, uh, look, I have my fork and knife yeah, ready, course, okay? Yeah. I can't wait. You are ready, yeah. This is, uh, you know what I always tell people? My give is to make food that tastes good and is good for you. Yeah, that's good. So this is exactly what we have in front of us. Yeah. Usually it's the prosciutto. Yes. It has bread. Yes. But what I did, I replaced the bread with chicken. Yeah, chicken breast. So, Alex, go for it. So what do you think about the meal, Alex? Wow, um, it, it has all the flavors there. You can, you can taste the tomato, you can taste the basil. Um, it's all mixed together, like you said. What I like about it, you taste the tomato. You see, like I told you, you can't use too many onions because the onions would take the flavor over. The onion is there, it's like a small instrument in an orchestra. Then the balsamic vinegar is not strong. It makes everything sweet. Then you have the garlic. You can't go wrong with the garlic. And you got a little bit of uh, the cheese on the top, Parmesan cheese. Mm. And it's really a treat. It is. And it really didn't took a lot of time, right? Because what we did, we, did, we fixed the chicken. We marinated the chicken. We put it in the oven. It took 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, you prepare the tomatoes, the onions. You know, you prepare the topping. Then you put it on the top of the chicken. You put it back in the oven for five minutes, and you have a delicious meal. Mm -hmm. mm. Good energy every day. Bam! Energy takes me where I want.